Hi, good morning, Sukina. Well, we're in Rurupan. That's, of course, just one of the suburbs just outside Kimberley. Um, so uh, this is where officially the measles vaccination program is kicking off here in the Northern Cape. Of course, we know that there are confirmed cases of measles uh, here in the province. Uh, and, of course, very few provinces uh, in, the, in, in the country um, not affected uh, by the measles outbreak. But let's speak to um, Talile, uh, um, the MEC for, for uh, Education in Northern Cape. Uh, MEC, tell us about, we've got seven confirmed cases here in the Northern Cape. Tell us uh, where are they and how are they being treated? Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Good morning to the viewers as well. Yes, I can confirm that we've got seven cases in the Northern Cape. From the seven, four cases are here in Francis Bar District. And that's basically why we are launching this uh, measles campaign here in France is bad because we want to make sure that uh, we deal with the challenge at its uh, infant stages before it spreads too much. The other three cases are some of them two in JTG and one in, in a ZFM area. Uh, MEC, um, how are you managing those cases? Um, are, you, uh, are you asking parents to isolate the, the, the children or how are you doing it? Now, as the Department of Education, we are working hand in hand with the Department of Health on such issues. So if such issues have been identified, we involve the Department of Health and the advice on them is those children are then isolated and they must remain at home so that they can be uh, given the necessary medication treatment so that they cannot infect all the other learners in the schools. Of course, ABC, we're also looking at, uh, you know, with the COVID-19 uh, vaccine, uh, there's a lot of hesitancy and um, that sort of spilled over to, to, to child immunizations. Um, are we seeing that and what is the department doing to, to, to address that? In connection with this campaign of measles, as we are launching it here today, we are of the view that uh, working hand in hand with the Department of Health, we will make sure that all our 333 primary schools are being attended to all the children in that issue. Of course, we've got a little bit of a hesitancy in the province when it comes to the injections for the COVID-19, but we are doing advocacy at the schools. We are making sure we are working as a team with health to make sure we in vaccinate all the children so that we cannot have a crisis in the province of, uh, of a business. So Lili Manikane is of course the, the uh, education MEC here in the Northern Cape, of course, talking about the immunization campaign that's kicking off against measles here in the province, of course, at the Ruhrpan at the moment. But they're not only giving the booster shot for, for measles, they're also giving shots for uh, immune boosters for, for children so that they can have a fighting chance in terms of of, of, of not getting the, the, the measles, uh, you, you know. Uh, but uh, they said more than 300 schools uh, are, are, will be visited during this week uh, to immunize children and to get a booster shot against measles. They're also asking that people who haven't given their, their children the measles, outbreak, uh, the measles uh, vaccine to either do it at school or at the nearest clinic. Skinner? Um, Ulrich, just a quick follow-up question to that. You mentioned uh, the um, hesitancy that has uh, perhaps spilled over from COVID-19 and people being hesitant to take those COVID-19 shots and how that may have impacted on um, uh, childhood immunization. But with regard to these um, shots that are being administered today, the vaccines, Parental consent, um, is that something that you've looked at and, you know, spoken to some parents about their concerns at this point? Well, the schools here in the Northern Cape, uh, all of them have actually sent out uh, a parental consent forms before. Uh, so it was already sent out last week to uh, parents at the various schools. Uh, so the parents then had to tick whether or not they are comfortable uh, to have their children immunized at the school. Uh, so basically uh, they have then uh, given, were, were given consent to, to do it here at school. Uh, those who did not want to obviously uh, uh, didn't fill in the forms or indicated that on the forms. Uh, but let's check with the MEC again. MEC, uh, in terms of the consent, forms um, I'm not sure if you will be able to tell us uh, you know uh, how many of the consent forms just in terms of, of percentages uh, came back with uh, you know positive uh, numbers yes uh, we've got about 393,000 learners or children that must be immunized 
and we have distributed all the consent forms through the schools and I can confirm to you that 97% of the parents responded positively. They give permission that their children should be immunized at the schools. Thank you very much. Uh, again, the MEC for, for Education in the Northern Cape saying 97%, so about a 3% of, of uh, parents chose not to have their children immunized uh, at the school. Sakina.